this is the craziest thing I have ever seen. This is the craziest thing I have ever seen. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. This is the craziest thing I have ever seen. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. This is the craziest thing I have ever seen. That's exactly what you're about to say. That's exactly what you are about to say, friend. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Why? God told me, looking at the season that we're in, that this was an accelerated season. What used to take months will happen in moments. Some of you guys don't even, like, you don't even have a repertoire for what you're about to see in your life. Not in a negative way. But I believe you're about to see some things that you have never dreamt ever in your life happening for you, for your children. You're about to move from talking to walking. You know, I noticed, I noticed something about saints. Saints like to talk about that. We love to talk about revival. We love to talk about miracles. We love to talk about all these things. Can you imagine in the gospel of John, everybody was talking about what if, man, what if Lazarus, what, what if, if Jesus were here, Lazarus, man, he wouldn't have even died. And they sat there in the, in the cafeteria at the church after the funeral they were eating pound cake kosher pound cake and falafels and they were saying man if if jesus had been here he never would have died man what if what if what if what if jesus came earlier what if jesus came four days earlier but what they were about to see they weren't ready for they were, listen, it was so supernatural that people got offended. They said, this is crazy. He just made a man that was decomposed, who had already been embalmed and laid in a tomb and the tomb sealed. He just called him forth out of the tomb. That's crazy. And it's going to be crazy until you see it. And when you see it, you're going to be like, oh my God. Oh my God, that's going to be the, listen, that's going to be the language of this hour. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. You better mark my words. That's what's going to be the quotation that you express out of your mouth. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. This is the craziest thing. That's going to be, not in a negative way, but I'm talking about crazy faith, crazy miracles, crazy signs, crazy wonders, crazy healing. When that spot on the brain disappears, some of y'all know what I'm talking about. This is the craziest thing. I don't even know. This is absolutely. And the reason why it's so crazy is because we've not been accustomed to the miraculous, but you're about to get accustomed to it. You're about to become accustomed to not just miracles, wonders. See, we've always talked about miracles, but there's a realm of wonders. Wonders is make things that make you scratch your head. What in the world did I just see? What? How? How? How in the world did that happen? You're going to be like the, you're going to be like the, the midwife in the book of Genesis. When Tamar was giving birth, when Tamar was giving birth to Pharaoh, and the midwife said, how did you break through? What in the world? She was like, this is crazy. 
I've never seen anything like this before. And let me tell you something, you haven't until you see it. Until you see it, man, you, I've never seen anything like this before. And you haven't seen anything like that before. But you're about to. You're about to, friends. I need you to catch what I'm saying. Somebody needs to catch this. You better respond to this. You better, you better take hold of this word. Let me tell you something. This is about to be the craziest thing you've ever seen in your life. We are in that place where time is bending because eternity has invaded time. Heaven has invaded the earth. And the dimension of heaven, the heavenly dimension, the dimension of the kingdom of God is subduing every inferior and lower dimension. The weight of the glory is causing time and space to bend upon itself. Time and space are bending under the glory. And that's why when the glory is manifest, all kinds of crazy, crazy things happen. We are in, listen, we're not going to get into a move of God. We are in a move of God. We are already in a move of God. We are in a move of God right now. We are in Currently, we are in a move of God. You better wake up and smell the Holy Ghost because we are in a move of God right now in our generation. And the, the moniker of this generation will be OMG. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Who is who is this who can open the eyes of the blind? What manner of man is this that speaks to the winds and the waves and they obey his voice? What kind of doctrine is this? This is crazy. Yeah, it is. It's crazy to the religious. It's crazy to the stale. It's crazy to the dry. It's crazy to the traditional. It's crazy to the run of the mill. And I'm ending this video, but I need you to understand something. God's been dealing with me. And my wife is funny. The Lord gave me a word. And then about three or four days later, God gave my wife the same word. We have settled for ordinary. And we serve an extraordinary God. We have settled for natural. When we serve a God who is supernatural. We've settled for carnal. When we serve a God who is divine. And I'm telling you right now. This thing of, of, of us playing church and, and quoting scriptures and not seeing manifestation, it's over. Those days are over, friends. And they're never coming back. The days of religion and tradition and dryness and staleness are totally over. And they're never coming back. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you. Greetings. That's why we got to get radical. Radical faith. Radical obedience. Radical giving. You better get on board. Stop letting the devil talk you out of your miracle. Stop letting church folks and religious people with no power, no revelation, cheat you out of your blessing. Anyway, God bless y'all. Go to the website.